Okay, so the, the, the brief introduction to, to bit for free again. Uh, so we started last uh, September, October, and so we tried to identify the, some of the, the key issues we could improve uh, during the whole bidding process uh, in a typical construction project. Uh, we worked closely with, with uh, Balfour Beatty, with Neil. We met uh, quite a few people uh, at Balfour's, uh, did some um, market research, if you like, gathered uh, quite a few user requirements. And then the, we identified features we could develop within the time and within the uh, Innovate UK uh, grant, uh, you know, given the time and, and resources. Uh, at the beginning, we looked into the uh, more into the um, uh, automatic model checking and then how, could, how to automate the uh, bill of quantities. However, we realized that uh, the, the quality of the models in the tendering these days is not, uh, is not there yet in terms of uh, uh, BIM standards. So, uh, then we focused uh, on, a, on a clear communication with, between the uh, uh, main contractor and the supply chain. And what we're going to show you today is, uh, are those tools uh, we, uh, we uh, um, developed and fine-tuned for, for, the, for the raising RFIs during the tendering process. Then there will be another functionality for, for grouping, which, which is a good start for, uh, for managing packages uh, on, a, on, a on a tendering um, project and then a few bits and pieces which we, I will show you as we go. Now let's have a look on the uh, navigation mode called helicopter, which uh, allows you to fly around uh, the model, which, is, which might be the, the better navigation mode for, uh, for complex models. So then again, if you hold, uh, press and hold the left, left mouse button, you can move uh, back and forth or sideways. But you, you're always on, on one level. This, is, uh, this can be actually quite useful. Let me show you. Uh, if you are closer to the building and you want to, let's say, uh, fly just above the, above the roof, then th this could be the way how you, know, how you can navigate. If you want to adjust your elevation, then press and hold uh, right mouse button. And then you can uh, go up and down. So we believe uh, that developing this uh, simply a very powerful uh, tool for, for, for construction, we can improve the, the communication uh, between uh, various parties. And then uh, once you can communicate clearly, there are less mistakes to be, to be done and uh, you can deliver your project faster or, or you, don't, you, don't, you don't need to value engineer the, the hell out of the project and you can actually build nice buildings, which is matters to me. I'm an architect by trade, so uh, that, that's something I would, I would like to have. Um, okay then, so these, are, these were the issues. Uh, let's have a quick look on the groups, uh, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can also group objects uh, in your model. If you select the group, uh, the, uh, the objects are highlighted. So, and this could be something uh, which we could use for, uh, for, for uh, package management, for example. Uh, we have functionality probably more relevant to the main contractors than, than to supply chain. Uh, and of course, uh, we implemented uh, the measuring tools which, where you can measure distances. We did just, just now was the first round of raising the uh, RFI or request for information during the tendering process. But yeah, uh, the tool can be used also during the uh, design coordination. Anytime you as a main contractor want to communicate uh, clearly and efficiently with your supply chain, uh, you know, this functionality uh, yeah, works well.